Okay guys, George here from Delusional Design CNC. Uh, today we're going to deal with uh, bad files. Usually this is found with um, fonts or scanned items. Um, it's going to give a rough cut. Uh, it's going to show up different in Inkscape than it does in Sheetcam. Uh, we go into node editing here. We can see uh, this file really doesn't have a lot of nodes in it. Uh, just looking at it, if we go to view, display mode, and then go to outline, uh, we can even zoom in a little bit more and uh, kind of see, you know, uh, better what's happening with it. Uh, really not going to see a whole lot that looks wrong in this, just by zooming in on this. Uh, but what this file has is it has a bunch of duplicate uh, lines in it. Uh, and... Uh, that's going to cause major issues when it goes into sheet cam and sheet cam goes to fix it. So uh, if you pay attention to how many nodes are in this, this is what it should look like in, in sheet cam. If it doesn't, uh, you're going to need to come back into Inkscape uh, or your other CAD program and fix it. Uh, so I'm just going to go into sheet cam here and we're going to open up that file. This is a file a customer sent me. Uh, it's got some issues. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up here. And you see it says removing duplicate vectors right when it opened up, which is a good giveaway that it's going to do something like this. And you can see here, it just has a ton of nodes over here. It's actually extremely rough the way it's drawn, you right? It's not even smooth curves, um, you know, which is not how it looked in Inkscape, right? Because it added these extra nodes to everywhere that there was duplicate lines which is a ton of them down here and all these curves you know this area would probably still move pretty smooth but all these others yeah that's gonna definitely give you a rough cut it's definitely not gonna be a nice result uh, and this is something I see a whole lot with fonts and like I say uh, traced items and if you're starting with something that's really bad from the beginning until you make it better you're not gonna have much luck with it uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one for now. Uh, I'm going to go over here to Inkscape and we're going to show you how to fix this. So the first thing I do is just select it, hit Control, Shift, and K, and break it apart. Drag a box around all the inside pieces and hit Control, K. Select the part, Shift, click, select the other inside parts, and Control, Minus. And I mean, this is just this simple. It is amazingly simple to fix these. Uh, and this works as long as the part has inside and outside parts. If it doesn't have separate parts, it's all one thing, it's not gonna work. But if it's inside pieces like this, this is a miracle worker. File, save as, I'm just gonna call this fixed and replace this one. Okay, we're gonna go over here to ink, uh, sheet cam, file, new part. We're gonna open up that piece I just saved, and boom, look at that. Now we got rid of all of those extra nodes to where now the machine can run smooth because now it doesn't have to jog back and forth trying to hit every one of those extra couple hundred nodes that were in there. Um, a really super simple fix. Uh, you, say, let, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys got any other things that you're running into, let me know. Um, these are also things that we cover in our um, training we offer at our Highland Indiana location so if you guys are interested uh, we always make ourselves available for that so thanks and you guys have a nice night